Next workout on the 10 day challenge, hopefully it's going well for you so far, is called the single circuit workout. And it's called that just because you're doing each exercise basically one time, you're doing a really high number, and then you're moving on to the next exercise. You can change it around if you need to, if you can't get like all 50 repetitions at one time, that's okay. But I'm just gonna go through it with one single circuit. What I want you to do is just keep up the best you can. So the very first thing, of course, you've done the joint mobility already. First thing is just to do body weight squats and we're gonna do 50 of them. So on squats, you want your knees to stay behind your toes, which means you're gonna to have to lean forward with your torso. Don't try to stay upright like this because it's gonna throw you out of whack. So butt back, knees behind the toes, and then just come all the way back up this way. We're gonna go ahead and do 50 of those nonstop. All right, so a couple of modifications. It's just squat about halfway down, pushing your butt back. That'll be the main modification. You can also get a chair, which I don't have here, and with the chair, you want it just the right height, but when it's there for you, just sit down and then stand up all the way out of the chair. That tends to do a lot better on the knees if you have knee issues. Okay, so here we go, 50 squats. Ready, go. And notice when I'm squatting, my knees go out slightly. Toes go out just a tiny bit, and then the knees follow the toes out slightly. I'm gonna call that 15. I forgot I had to count. I can't count when I'm talking. 23, 24, 25, 30. Do the best you can to keep up. 37, 38, 39, 40, 44, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50. Good job. All right, the next one, I'm going to take this mat and actually fold it over a couple of times to have something to set my knee on because I got a rep burn doing the last planks I was doing. And I don't want to do that to my knees too. So this one, you're going to step back into a lunge, set the knee all the way down, stand up, switch legs, Set the knee all the way down, and stand up. Now if you watch my knees here, my feet and my knees, I don't want to lunge like I'm on a balance beam, like this. I want to keep a little bit of space between the feet and the knees. And make sure this knee stays in line. Make sure it doesn't point in like that. So toes are facing straight forward, and then the knee is just outside the hip on each side. It's not coming inside the hip, it's staying out there. Okay, 25 on each side. And go. <clears throat> I gotta kind of do a step over this mat. This feels a little bit goofy. Notice how when my knee comes down, my posture is straight down from my head down to that knee on the floor. I think that's five each side. Don't get upset if I don't count them perfectly. Just do your 25, or as many as you can do. Don't worry if you can't absolutely get 25 on each side. It's all about doing the best you can. The main idea is that you do some variation of the workouts every day for these 10 days, including the stretches and the mobility, because that's gonna help you heal so that you can go hard the next day or the day after that. We'll call that 15. 16. 17. If you have knee issues, don't do these. Or modify. I'll show you the modification, should have showed you at the beginning. Just don't drop down all the way. So slight drop down. I'm not counting these in my overall numbers, just showing you the modification. You can also just sort of step straight back with the back leg, like that. That works too. I'm gonna call that 21. Three, three, four, four, five, and five. Good. Told myself good. 
Now I'm telling you, good job. Keep up with it. Next exercise, I'll show you a little bit of an angle first. Get your feet together, down flat, your hands down your side, head down flat. Pick up one leg, lift up, drop down, lift up, drop down, lift up, like that. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. We're gonna do 50 of these each side, and they're kind of boring, but you're just doing one set of them, going all the way through, and they're gonna go pretty fast. So I think you'll like the workout. It's not the most exhilarating workout ever created, but you're gonna get done with it really fast. Faster when I stop talking. So one leg comes up, lift up, come down. And watch my low back. Notice how I'm not arching it. I'm not coming way up like that and arching the back. I'm just squeezing my butt and letting that take my hips up as high as they will naturally go. 15, 16, 19, 20. Twenty-five, halfway there. Thirty-four, thirty-five. Your butt should be burning here. If you get a cramp, just don't come up as high. Forty-four, forty-five, or stop all together if the cramp is bad enough. Forty-nine, fifty, good. Oh, that hurts my butt cheek. It's a good feeling though. All right, other side. Go. Eight, nine, ten. Squeeze that butt cheek. Not with my hands, but using my butt cheek to squeeze itself. 23, 24, 25. Flex the cheek. 29, 30. 8, 9, 40. 7, 8, 9, 50. Good. Those help to work the opposite side of your legs that the squats and lunges work. A little bit of hamstring, a lot of glutes. Next one, excuse me while I read the list, is gonna be a side plank raise. I like to do my side planks on the elbow, not the hand, because doing it on the hand loads a lot of pressure onto your wrist. It's all your body weight going right here. This doesn't do that. Make sure when you do it, don't let your shoulder come up this way. Keep it pushed away. So you're essentially pushing your elbow into the floor and that's keeping your shoulder packed into the right position. Feet, I like like this. I think you can see that. Making a straight line, one stack in front of the other. Not like this. This gives you better balance and it recruits these muscles a lot better. So you're just gonna lift up, drop down. Don't drop, set down softly. Lift up, lift up, four, five. We're gonna do 25. 10, 15, this is a lot of these, these are hard, 20, I'll show you the modification right after this, 24, 25, sorry about that, I keep meaning to show you the modification before we get started, modification is go on the knees and lift up that way, that's one, one option that you have, another one is keep this knee down, and straighten this leg out. That allows you to lift up just a little bit higher. But again, the side of this knee is down on the floor. <clears throat> All right, other side, of course. Again, I know it's not super exhilarating, but this is a really good, effective short workout. Very tough. Push that shoulder into the socket. Don't let it fall up this way, or push up that way. Feet one in front of the other. Three, four, five, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, 10, 15, 
21, 22, 24, 25. Good. All right, next one is 50 push-ups. I'm gonna move the mat out of the way again. I don't think we need it the rest of the workout. <clears throat> Let me show you how I like to do push-ups. So if you're doing them the real deal way, you want your chest to come all the way down. First off, hold the pelvic tuck the whole time that you're doing the push-up. Don't let your back turn into this. Second off, keep your elbows in a little bit tight about right here. And you're gonna push, you're gonna twist your hands into the floor essentially like you're screwing them into the floor as you push up. So the hands should be about right here, thumbs about even with the nipples to the lower chest, and then push straight out in front of you that way. You don't wanna do this and chicken wing it, because then you're putting a lot of load on the shoulders and the trapezius, maybe the scalenes, just a lot of stuff in your upper body that you don't wanna put the load on. So hands down low. Here's the full push-up, chest down, all the way up. There's kneeling push-ups, of course. Chest down, all the way up. You're actually resting for a quick second, half second at the bottom. Or you can do a half push-up off the feet, or a half push, oops, sorry, <laughs> half push up off the knees. One more option, then I'll stop giving you options. We'll get started doing 50 push ups. This, the other option is to go slow down with your feet down and then lift your feet up to come up on your knees. That way is really tough, especially if you do all 50 that way. Uh, but if you can go negative on your feet, but you can't come back up on the feet, I would recommend it that way. Feet for the negative, knees for the positive. All right, 50 of these guys, we are getting close to being done. Three, four, five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. I'm tired. We'll stop there. Pick it up in a second. No worries if you have to do that. <clears throat> Used to be able to crank out 50 push-ups non-stop, but I haven't done that for a little while. But no worries. As long as you're doing it, you're getting the numbers in, we're pretty close, then you're doing it well. Start at 20. 21, 2, 3, There's 30. <clears throat> Shake out the arms a little bit. Rest as long as you need to. You can pause the video if you need. That's totally fine. Do it at your own pace and pick the modification that makes the most sense for you to do it. Don't worry about what I'm doing or what anybody else doing this workout with you is doing. Focus on yourself. 31, 32, 38, 39, 40. Another 10 of those. We're getting there. 50 push-ups is kind of a lot. Make sure if you have shoulder problems, don't do these. I would just skip this exercise altogether. You can do a plank, high or low. You can do more of the side planks if those feel okay on the shoulders. If they don't, I would just skip this one all together and do everything else on this day of the challenge. All right, I guess we better crank out these last 10. Okay, ready, go. Forty-five, five more. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Okay, one last exercise. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it on here. You need a wall for this one. Again, if this is too tough, don't do this one. I'll give you a modification. Uh, otherwise, give it a shot and see how you do. I'm gonna do a total of 10 of these. These are walk-ups, wall walks, wall walk-ups, any which way. 
And then just like they sound, you want to walk backwards up the wall for the pillar. In this case, about to here, maybe a foot and a half away from the wall. And then walk yourself back forward. Back forward. <laughs> That's one. I'm going to do a total of 10 of those. All right, so again, modify the numbers if you need to. The modification for that is going to be a Hindu push up. So the feet go out wide, elbows in tight, duck under, come up, and then push your butt back that way. Okay, that's the modification. I'll go back and do number two of the wall walks. One more and I'm halfway there. Halfway. This is a tremendous shoulder exercise. Tough to do though. Don't worry about it if you can't do them. Do the Hindu push-ups instead. Let me give it one more idea for a modification. Butt up high, you're gonna just bring your head down and push back up that way. And you're just going maybe halfway down. Maybe even a quarter of the way down. Do it that way. Make sure when you're pushing up, don't bring the shoulders up like this. Keep those shoulders down as you push. I just spit, I don't know if the camera caught that. It's kinda of cool. Five more. Two more. Hopefully you found a spot on your wall to do these. Last one. Hopefully you kept up. If not, you did the best you could. Let's finish off with a couple of stretches. So hands back behind you. Not too much arch in the low back. So not like this, but like this. <clears throat> Just hold it there. Next one, arm out across in front of you. You should feel this stretch back here. Maybe a little bit right here. Trapezius and rear delts. Feel free to hold those stretches for longer. I just want to wrap up this workout and get along with my day. Make sure that you comment how the workout went for you. Let me know if you want changes, modifications. Maybe I'll make them, maybe not. Let me know how it went for you, how you did, how you liked it. Let me know your results of the 10 day challenge. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I'll put out a lot more body weight workouts, minimal equipment workouts like this. Things you can do without the gym in short periods of time. That's it, thanks for working out. I'll see you soon.